Many of us have heard of the company Nestle and say their products whenever we go to the store. Some of us may even use their products in our own daily life without even knowing it. Nestle owns many different products such as candy, pet food, baby food, coffee cream, and more. One of Nestle's most well-known products is their bottled water. They are the world's largest producer of bottled water with many different types of water being sold. Besides the issue of selling water in plastic bottles that pollute our planet, Nestle is making a huge profit from selling tap water to its consumers. Each day, over 1 million bottles of water are being packaged in Michigan factories and sold everywhere, and about 400 gallons of water are pumped per minute. Within the decade, Nestle has pumped 3.4 billion gallons from nine different wells in Mecosta and Osceola counties. In 2017, Nestle paid a $5,000 fee for a permit and paid a $200 annual fee and made $4.5 billion in profit from bottled water sales. Meanwhile, people in Flint and other Michigan communities have been suffering from contaminated water for six years and Nestle's companies have sat by and watched. In fact, the Nestle plan had 80,000 people who opposed it and only 75 people who supported it. Despite the public opposition, it was concluded that the company's plan met legal standards. On top of Nestle's water wars with Michigan, Nestle has also had many other controversies, such as pumping water from California's aquifers despite the drought, promoting and pushing the use of its baby formula over breastfeeding, child labor within its cocoa plantations, falsely labeling their food brands, and claiming their brand Poland Spring Water is from a spring when it has been proven not to be. So why should we care? Well, as a human, if you think that access to clean, drinkable water is a human right for all, you should care. Nestle chairman stated that water is not a human right for all people, but rather a commodity. It's up to you to decide whether or not you still want to purchase Nestle products, but it's important that consumers are aware of what these companies stand for. Allowing companies like Nestle to do whatever they want comes hand in hand with undermining the public water system we rely on. Water problems across the state are due to corruption, self-interest, and putting the public's interest last. As a Michigander, we should care because the resources of our own Great Lakes are on the line. Do we have an obligation to share water from the Great Lakes with the world? Many Michigan residents believe our state is getting ripped off, and one of our state's most valuable resources is being depleted for next to nothing. Maycomb County's Public Works Commissioner Candice Miller said, they're literally taking millions and millions of gallons of Great Lakes water, in this case, out of the Lake Michigan aquifer, bottling it, and who knows where they're selling it. Miller is also a former congresswoman and secretary of state who is very upset about the Nestle deal. There are also a few other organizations I found that speak out about Nestle's water scandal in Michigan. Lakota Law Project, a group of indigenous advocators, have spoken out about boycotting Nestle Waters. Another organization called Some of Us boycotted Nestle and called upon ex-governor Rick Snyder to stop privatization of Michigan's water supply using the slogan, Fighting for People Over Profits. If you purchase products from Nestle Water, I strongly suggest you do more research on what Nestle really stands for. If you can take anything away from this video, think about if the water you receive daily is a right for all people, or if it's just another product sold in stores to make money off of. Also, if you can, I would strongly suggest buying a Brita filter, and if you feel the need to purchase bottled water, please recycle.